it's been so long since I last saw you. Look at how much you've grown. I could have never imagined you'd become a soldier, but you are more than deserving of the title. What is with that look on your face? It's just me, your sister. <laughs> Impossible, you say. In any other situation, I would be inclined to agree. However, your body teeters on the edge between life and death. The god of death beckons you closer and sends me to visit you in his stead. You've fought hard enough. Now you may rest and return home with me. Yes, home. Father and the generations before us all await your arrival. Let your body rest in her row as mine does. There is no pain in letting go. There, there is no need to talk of such things. No one is to blame for my death other than the warrior that struck me down. Nothing would have changed if you were there. If anything else, you would have lost your life as well. I made my choice to protect my family, and I left this world with no pain or regrets. I watch them grow and prosper as life continues on, and when the time comes, I will visit them as I have visited you. That look on your face. You're not ready to leave quite yet, are you? I told you, you sit upon the edge of two futures, one in life or death. I can hardly force you to come with me, though, if you choose the path of life, it will be painful. Life will not be easy or kind to you. But you will be alive, and you can go home, to parades. You may look upon the swaying fields of lavender once again, and see all of the familiar faces that adorned our childhood. Give and take. <laughs> you choose to endure, then I will respect your wishes. Though, may I leave you with a final request? When you finally get home, would you please tell Gerard and my children that I will always care for them, no matter how far apart we are? <laughs> Thank you. I wish you strength in the days to come. Oh, gods. You're still alive. Hey! I need help over here. They're still alive, but just barely. Friend, if you can hear me, keep fighting for a little while longer. You are in safe hands now. Be careful. They're gravely injured. It is almost a miracle they haven't passed on yet. I mean, just look at the state of them. Get them to the medic tent as swiftly and delicately as you can. They need immediate attention. I know you're in pain. The tent isn't too far away, so you just have to hold on for a moment longer. Brother, I found them. I, 
I know not where to begin. I mean, their injuries are so extensive and... Wait. They're losing consciousness. Hey! 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 You've awakened. Wait, try not to move too much. Your body has been through a lot. Let me help you drink some water. I know. It hurts. I'll support you while you drink. All done? All right. Let us get you lying down again. There you go. Aside from the obvious pain, how are you feeling? Well, I'm sure you would feel strange. You were very close to dying, my friend. You were in a sorry state when we came across you. It was... very scary. Truthfully, it was a good thing my brother was here. I was a little shaken when I saw you, and... Hardly knew where to start. One wrong move, and... I might have accidentally killed you. <sighs> but my brother knew what to do without hesitation. To save you, he... He had to take your right arm. It is gone. I'm sorry, but my brother was adamant that it was the only way... Nothing could be saved of it, so everything up to your elbow had to go. I know that learning this must be devastating, but we will help you get acquainted with your new lifestyle, I suppose. There is no need to thank me. I have done nothing except sit and read at your bedside while waiting for you to wake up. My brother is the one you should truly thank. He was there to tend to you, when my emotions got the better of me. <sighs> well, fine. I will accept your thanks, if you are so determined to give it. I suppose even all this won't shake you of your stubbornness. That's good. Use that as fuel in the coming days of recovery. By that I mean, you are not entirely in the clear just yet. Amputations are dangerous. Even when conducted by the most knowledgeable medics. Surviving the operation is the first major hurdle. But if something goes wrong during the recovery period, then... Death is not completely out of the realm of possibility. But... We must all have faith that you will pull through without issue. I need you well again so I can give you a verbal lashing for putting me through such a thing. <laughs> yes, you are putting too much emotional turmoil on my plate, and I want none of it. But even I am not so cruel to bully someone who is in such a state. Yes? The outcome of the battle? Are you really invested in such a thing right now? All right, fine, fine. I will tell you. The battle for Harrell went smoothly, for the most part. The Balians didn't stand their ground. Once our forces pushed forward into the city gates, the warriors called a retreat. Majority of them are making their way to the stronghold in Ligrius as we speak. Hey, getting Haro is a brilliant start towards getting the Balians off of our land. Eurasian will fight for Ligris another day, when the soldiers have had time to recover. Not to mention, you should not be thinking of such a thing. You will not be fighting for Ligris, regardless if you recuperate or not. 
you will not be in a state to fight when the time comes. You have sacrificed enough in order to take back Haro. You can be done with battlefields. If you are so determined to give yourself to the cause, then we can find ways for you to do so out of the way of danger. I... I don't know who you are fighting for. But would they really want you to think so little of your life? Before you lost consciousness, you kept muttering a woman's name. Considering the circumstances, I guess that she was someone important to you. Oh. Your older sister. I... I am so sorry. I cannot imagine the pain of losing someone to the initial Balian invasion. But she was very brave to stand against the warriors while her family fled. You saw her? What do you mean? Hmm. It could have been a multitude of things, really. Delusions onset by the pain. A strange dream while you were out of it. Or, if you were the religious type, then... You could believe her soul truly came to comfort you in your time of need. In my opinion, believe in whichever thought gives you the most comfort. In the end, it is not like we can find a true answer. So, you shouldn't overthink it. You will have enough time to ponder what you believe happened while you rest. I won't have you walking about far before you're ready. You know I will chide you if you do such a stupid thing. Just be compliant and stay here. If you need anything, just call out. My brother and I will never be too far away. Also, before I leave, I just want you to know that I am very grateful you're alive, my friend.